guess we wait a minute. <clears throat> uh, POV versus Drogo and two and two. All right. And now it's the grand final. Okay, okay. But yeah, it was actually really fun to play today, not gonna lie. Obviously I would have liked to be would have liked to play in the grand final, but it is what it is. So given the matchups, yeah, so we have uh Rus and Delhi on one side and then French and China on the other one. I think Rus is favored in both matchups pretty severely. Um, Daily, if Daily gets a hybrid map, I think they can play. But there's only one hybrid map in the map pool, in the one v one map pool, so you can ban that. I think Ancient Spires is in. You just ban that, and then I'm not sure. I guess I guess there's some Daily players that probably wouldn't mind some of the other maps either. But uh, I think it's I think it's tough maybe for Daily as well. Like their their spearmen also don't brace. Uh, you don't know who you're queuing into though, right? So th the way it works, you ban the maps, then you pick a map, and then you you select uh, the player and the Sif, like blindly, like you, you tell them uh, Hazorp's playing as uh, English on this map then. And then the opponent does the same, and then you get the info by the admin. Uh, let's see, in lo still in lobby, what are they doing? I think they're starting now. <laughs> Taking it easy. Yeah, I would have loved to play against the Bonchwa guys. Like, I, I played against both of them in ranked a uh, couple of times. I think against Honor actually only once, and that was at the very beginning of Age of Empires. Against Red, Red Panda, I played a few times, maybe three times or four times. Um, I would have loved to play against them as well, actually. I would have loved to play against Neely and uh, Jim Rising as well, like third place decider, but no time, you know, like it's it's four teams and everything gets played in one evening, so you kind of, you don't have time for third place decider, just uh, scoot through it. Also, I would have loved to pick Mongol, by the way, but I guess everyone, everyone wants the Mongol. Mongol and Rus, that's what people want to pick these days. Uh, In-game, all right, perfect. Let's uh, click on this. Honor wished for a rematch? Yeah, I mean, so that's why I'm saying, right? When I played against Honor, it was at the very beginning of Age of Empires. I think we both... I think we both got a lot better since then. I mean, we are still both probably still pretty bad compared to the, the good players, but we definitely improved quite a bit. Um, and yeah, would be fun, would be fun. Would be fun. And I think Red Panda actually plays pretty decent as well. Like they both play a lot of ranked. Uh, three minutes before we can join. Three minutes. <laughs> ah, man, would have loved to play another game. You know, would have loved to play another game.
maybe next time. Speaking of playing more, uh, tomorrow's CCL uh, cast, most likely together with Mena, by the way. I think we, we're getting Mena in. And then on um, on Sunday, I have to play myself. We play against Simplicity. That's the match that's deciding first place. Um, yeah. Both of us, both Simplicity and 30k, are directly qualified for the playoffs, though. Like, we are at least top three, which is the, the cutoff point for the playoffs. And then uh, the playoffs are in a January. I don't know the exact date. I think like 15th and 16th and then on the 22nd maybe. But I will just uh, check out Discord. I will post and confirm the, the dates there once. I think they're already known. Like you can check it on Wikipedia, but yeah. Bunchfire 6k viewers? Yeah, they have a... I mean, they are a very big uh, channel, right? For the German audience. And both Honor and Red Panda are uh, doing good in Age of Empires. They both have a lot of fun, I think, as well, doing it. Like the, They've been practicing as well for this event. And for, I think, tomorrow there's a Steel Series tournament. 20k, maybe. Uh, like, they've been practicing for that. So, yeah. It's good to see, though. Like I know, I know Honor for a long time as well already. Like, uh, like we've played StarCraft two at the same time. All right, ten seconds, and then it's New Year. Five, five, four, three, two, one. All right, another loading screen. Oh. Um, so Drogo as Chinese, Ona as Delhi. We s this is interesting, right? So Ona played Rus in the first one we won. This time he's Delhi. What is the map? Sorry. Ah, it's uh, Alt Altai. Yeah. Daily Altai. On, I think Ona is pretty decent on uh, Daily though. We will see. Drogo China again. Yeah, this is the Queen, this thing. Imperial official. It has a uh, here 200% faster if you if you're building stuff and then 20% more resources as well. If you put it on uh, eco, very very strong. You can build four queens. They cost 150 food though. Very strong. Yeah, the Muslim is really good as well, actually. The Muslim uh, played in the Winter series as well a few days ago. I mean, I played as well, but I got stormed round one. But I, honestly, I was full Pepega. I didn't even fully understand how to ban and pick civilizations. Like, I was Omega Pepega. But I mean, that's a lesson you learn, right? You get Omega farmed. Like, Mongols was in, and I didn't pick it. Even though I played a hybrid map as well. Like, no comment, actually. I was very angry with myself afterwards because I didn't understand I didn't understand how the civilization picks work <laughs> like, oh my god anyways the Muslim did pretty good in that tournament um, I think he maybe top 8 is when he lost and he's like top 30 in the in the ladder so yeah I mean guys okay guys I'm coming from Starcraft right you join the lobby 
You select your rays and you smash them. People smash. You lock in Protoss. You know your build order. You're going. I lock in Holy Roman Empire. I know my build order. I'm winning. But then, there's like... You ban you ban a civilization. It's like globally banned. And then you can play them only once. And then the maps are omega imbalanced in this game. But it, it was the same in StarCraft actually. At the beginning of the game, StarCraft had a ton of dog shit maps. And I think it's very normal. Like, you make 10 to 12 maps and 60% of them are dog shit. It's just, it's very hard to make good maps. I think it's the same in Age of Empires 4. The ranked map pool is really bad. And it, it, it creates like super imbalanced matchups as well. And there's no veto system yet, right? So you get the, like, you just play. So you get, I mean, you can alter four the maps, right? But then you have to queue again. Um, I think, like, maps are... Very, very big part of, of uh, every RTS in terms of balance. But yeah. I mean, it's at the very beginning, right? There haven't, there hasn't, there has been very small changes to some of the maps. And I think it's also completely normal to have a, to have a lot of bad maps. And then you just have to filter them out slowly, right? Like you learn while you're playing. Everyone learns, the tournament organizers, the players, uh, ideally the developers, they understand like what is good, what is bad, and then they build on top of it. I think that's totally the normal process. And maybe, maybe even the community can come up with good maps, because that's often what happened in other titles, right? To be fair though, and that's like unique for Age of Empires, right? That the maps have RNG factor compared to like the Blizzard RTS that I played before. So, for example, this relic does not always spawn here. Could be here, could be deeper in the corner. Uh, what always spawns are the three sacred sites, you know? And unless it's bugged, they should spawn in each lane, right? We have like we have the north here, we have the middle area, and then the south. So they should spawn in each one of them. Um, and the relics are spread out like a certain way from town centers, but it is, in some way, it's I don't know, it, it, it creates a weird balance sometimes. Um, there's always two deer spots, for example. I think this one always spawns in your base, yeah. So that's like something you can plan for if you get if you play Altai. You know that the deer are spawning very close to you, the first pack. And then the second pack is a bit further out. Uh, it's here and here, for example. Um, let's see real quick what's happening in this game. I didn't really... It's talking too much nonsense. Imperial Academy. More gold from the taxing. I think it's very hard to pick up all the gold in terms of tax anyways though. But you build both... You China just goes for both uh, landmarks to uh, build Pian's uh, quicker. Yeah, this one, Song's Dynasty. Villager production time, minus 35%. Minus 35 kick W. That's what the what they do usually. Daily though, very special. Very special in terms of they like to wall because their infantry can actually build walls, which caused like massive balance issues in the initial like a few weeks back, right? But then the daily got changed. Uh, they can still build walls, but they cannot cap. They cannot keep the sacred site on feudal anymore, um, which was pretty OP. But it was also like the best thing for daily, right? That's why they were good. So people had to like rearrange build orders and what they want to do with daily. And then on top of daily getting changed, they also broke the civilization. Like some of the some of the techs, they don't really work. They take like <laughs> infinite time to upgrade. Uh, but yeah, Honor is building a tower here. I believe Drogo saw the tower, but he puts his eye on the grand prize, the deer, which by the way, professional scouts, 
is probably too strong as well. Actually, I'm certain it's too strong because there's no penalty. Uh, each of these deer has 350 food in them. And uh, Drogo's bringing it home. He's gonna put the deer next to the mill. Actually, he already did, uh, did it with those that were here. And then eat them. Uh, I did the same in my 1v1 as Holy Roman Empire. China can boost the upgrade though. Like the So if you have the Imperial on the mill, these upgrades also get boosted. So 30 seconds, for example, for wheelbarrow. Let's see if we have on a... He already finished it, right? Fuck. Ugh, and it doesn't even work because it's daily. I yeah, forget what I, I don't. I don't know the normal timings. <laughs> it's fucking daily as well. It's gonna tell us like three minutes here. <laughs> Five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, why would you pick daily? I mean, he had to, right? Like I told you, how the the civilization draft worked. They got Roost though, so they cannot complain, right? Bonshaw was among the first two picks. And Mongol and Rus are considered the two best factions, right? So the, I think it was Mongol first pick and Rus second pick. And then they got they got at the end of the draft again, right? So Daily was I think Daily and Abbasid were open and he picked Daily over Abbasid. And then Abbasid got last pick. That's what happened. He's building walls everywhere by the way with his infantry. The spearman can build walls. He is also This is good by Drogo. The sacred site wasn't kept yet. It takes the scout a while to kill the scholar, but what matters the most is that it wasn't fully kept because daily they get uh, double, double gold from the sacred sites. Very valuable. And when I said uh, feudal, I meant they can't upgrade it in Dark Age anymore. That's what I tried to say. There's a doggo. Actually, he's dr <laughs> he almost gets eaten. Help him! There's another dog. Ona gets. Oh my god! Oh, the triple wolf! Oh! That's what you get for trying to build walls behind your opponent, bro. What is this shit? <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. That's the first knight. Two, three. It's one sta two stable, actually. Two stable knights. Clockwork tower. That's the castle. If you wonder what this thing does, it's a siege workshop that gives your siege engine, like your siege. Uh, Infra like your siege um, units, 50% more HP. Pretty good. Pretty good deal. I think the monk might be able to get into the tower. The surround attempt. Drogo. Trying to surround the monk. Body block is enough. While having seven deer on the back. Mmm, it's yummy. Yeah, 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 we love to see that if we are Drogo. What we don't like to see is that we are getting fully walled in, by the way, on every every occasion. We broke. This one is not walled, though, so we are still getting out for now. Four knights. So the daily spearman also cannot brace. Uh, so they have to hide in the tower. Okay, they die. You build spearmen anyways though, because they can build walls, right? Like these have been created by infantry. Which is a bit pretty, uh, pretty nice. Ona is trying to sneak one villager to fulfill his dream of the wall. And these knights are pretty problematic. They killed uh, one, two, I think three villagers. One sacred site. Wait, I should go income per minute. It's the only valuable stat in this overlay. And it's not that great either. 
Yo, we have a few knights in our economy. Oh, we are attacking the lumber camp. That's a misclick. Now we found some villagers. It's a lot of damage, by the way. 35, 43. He never went, uh, he never went um, Song Dynasty though. Not yet, at least. I guess you just... Wait, where's... Where are these villagers going? What is Honor up to? Ah, he pressed! Oh no! They tried to garrison in the towers because this thing is full! Or it was full! Oh, that is painful. Like, look at these shitters, they went... Oh no, uh, so the way it works, you press here, seek shelter, automatically seek uh, sh like into the buildings, but the so town center has 20 slots, right? So if you use, if you press 30 villagers, seek shelter, they fill up the town center, and then they look for the nearest one. So if you have a tower in Africa, like this one, then your villagers are going to run there. And in fact, I believe there are villagers run into this one as well. There's five villagers in here as well. So I guess they run, <laughs> they run into every direction. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Did he finish the wall though? Yes. But this one gets open. That's the first nest of bees. Built out of this thing. Wait, why is he adding a barracks, Drogo? Uh, uh, for man at arms, right? He's gonna build man at arms. Because currently, Honor. Honor tried to stonewall this. Uh, Honor is trying to stonewall this, but he got stopped in his tracks. And I'm saying this again. His his spearmen do not brace. So these knights are actually they are very <laughs> hard to stop. <laughs> to be fair, he has very little, right? He has 14 army supply. Drogo has the double. And Drogo has uh, the first mangonels. I mean the nest of bees, the Chinese version of it. And Drogo got every single deer on the map, I believe. Like, he was picking them up. In fact, these are left over, but they are on his side of the map, and they are walled off. He stole everything from Honor. He stole these seven and these. There's a Springled in. Springled, uh, heals pretty well. With the units. 60 damage. And yeah, Palace Guard, that's the man of arms, the Chinese version. Wait, let me show you this one here. Palace Guard. That's the Chinese version. Uh, it's getting supervised, so build time of 7 seconds. Let's try if we see man at arms here. 22 seconds is the normal time. So the queen is doing. Uh, it's it's actually it's actually it's like if I see it, it's actually insane. It's Omega Chrono Boost. It's both the queen and the Chrono Boost in one. <laughs> Inject injecting the barracks here. Marketplace. Ah, you remember the deer? We're bringing them home. We actually we are not out of food yet. I think there's only one carcass left. So they all try to harvest one, but I think it's eight units, eight villagers. They can surround uh, like one, one, uh, one spot, basically. Forty-one army supply. I think Honor just dies. I think there's nothing he can do. Builds. Look at this. This is uh, so desperate. Like building a keep all the way in the back of your base. Trying to survive. And I mean, 
it will help you survive, but also not really, right? <laughs> oh, the nest of bees! Oh, yeah. What are we even... We don't have any... F we can't build anything. In fact, everyone is... Uh, every villager is... Yeah. Like an hour 2v2 for me. Everyone has to hide. Now they can go back to work, but was already uh, not harvesting anything. I think the game is over, by the way, because the timer is not running anymore. The only thing Drogo could have done, he could have sent one one more unit down here. Because it does give daily uh, 200 gold a minute, even though he has no one working on it. Like, no one is working on gold, yet he still has a uh, pretty decent gold income. But yeah. Yeah, Honor is trying his best to secure his uh, little... Whatever he has left for him, right? It's very little. And I think this is, this keep won't get up. And that's... Uh, I think that's the finishing blow. And I just spoke about it. He's not only sending one unit, he's sending the fucking Chinese palace guards. 16! 16 of them! While diving the opponent's economy. What's happening here? He's burning it. It will take a while. Wait, can I... Wait, how do I scroll again? I like this. It will take a while. 2000 HP. And they deal 16 per torch. Honor down to 12 army supply, 36 workers, 63 workers and 50 army supply. Um, yeah. I think uh, it's happening again, by the way. Everyone is trying to eat one deer. Actually, now they will idle, because now the deer is gone. I don't know, there's, there's one deer left. Look at it. Maybe even more, maybe they are all on the same pixel. If you drop them off all on the same pixel, then your villagers still cannot really gather them. So you gotta be a bit careful. Yeah, it's GG. I am very strong showing by Drogo. Very strong showing. He just... Uh, he got to castle. Um, quite a bit earlier yeah so we see what is that three minutes two minutes earlier and then he started building knights <laughs> and then honor was like wait, wait hold up bro what do i build against knights uh i can tell you as holy roman empire you build knights as well and hope for the best because your the spearmen don't work right it's the same for daily <laughs> But, uh, yeah, he actually had no answer to it. Also, the Great Wall of China, built by Delhi, didn't really work out. Um, it didn't really work out. I think this matchup is pretty... I mean, I don't know for sure, but I think it's pretty China-favored, actually. Uh, unless it's... Maybe if it's a hybrid map, I think Delhi can compete. But I believe otherwise it's pretty rough. Maybe if you have like uh, 500 IQ uh, build prepared. Which he kind of tried with the walls, right? He tried to completely seal the, Chi the Chinese into his base. But um, he had seven scouts. Seven scouts. It's not so easy to wall them in. It was a clean build by Drogo though, I have to say. From start to finish... Um, yeah, he looked he looked unstoppable this game. So it's 1-0, Grand Final. And uh, you know what? Maybe we lost to the team that is the best in this uh, in this tournament. Because that, that looked very one-sided. Like, the next matchup is going to be Rus versus French. Played between um, uh, Red Panda and Pik. Am 
Oh yeah. <laughs> what the entire map still got in? Uh. So now, now they can. So now, 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 how it works? Like the losing team picks a map. So seven maps, two buns each leaves you with three maps. Uh, we saw Altai just getting picked. So there's two other maps. The losing team picks the map, and then the civilizations are already set in stone, and the players as well, because it's only two per per team. So Red Panda, Rus, and pick uh, French. I, I guess I can try to find out the map maybe. Let me see. Um, hi, so high view is the next map. Actually, wait, isn't high view? Um, isn't high view the best roost map? Hold up. Map setup. Change map. High view. I think this is a very good roost map. Why was it not banned? Hold up. What did they ban? Let me see. Can I, can I still see that? Uh, Boulder Bay and... Ah, Angel Inspire! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Why Boulder Bay, though? Why do you ban Boulder Bay as uh, the team that has French? That sounds sounds very strange to me, but maybe Pick is not comfortable on uh, on Boulder Bay as French. But that leaves High View. I think High View is a fantastic map for Red Panda, who's going to play Rus. Honestly, I think that's probably what you wish for. Um. We will see, we will see, we will see how it goes. Yeah, they... I think... I think they have, like... I mean, Blizzard sucks as well, right? But, uh... <laughs> sometimes Blizzard is, like, hotfixing some of the bugs that are very... impactful, right? Uh, and honestly, I think they should do the same in this game. Like, some of the bugs are very crucial. And I don't know why why it takes them so long, but maybe that's just how it is. Like 2021, uh, yeah, we are just doing uh, we're doing baby steps. Maybe the maybe it's spaghetti code, like in Hots as well, actually, where you change one thing. It's December. No, no, it's not about being December. It's like you know the, the patch came last month, but. Like in HOTS, if you change one thing, you might break other things as well. Maybe it's the same here. Like, And I, it is actually, right? Because the Spearman change... So when the game got launched, the Spearmans did not brace manually. Uh, yeah. You, ha you had to act... Like, you had to micro your Spearman, right? You, The cavalry was charging at you. You press stop or, or hold. And then they would uh, brace. Now, if you attack move, they do it automatically, unless you're playing Daily and Holy Roman Empire, then no matter what you do, your spe Spearman will not perform the brace, which means when they when they changed it, they must have fucked something up big time, right? Because why, why would it be for Daily and Holy Roman Empire? How is that different? Like, how are their Spearmen different from any other civilization? They cost the same, they have the same upgrades. They can be built in, this, in the same structure. I don't know, like, I guess there must have been something uh, crucially going wrong. And then, and, then, and then they were like, yeah, we are aware of the bug, but we're not gonna fix it yet, yet. To be fair, there were some other, like, people would get like infinite resources by some other bugs. Um, 
But yeah, I mean now they are just wanking, honestly. Like uh, there were some, there were some, res like you could you could start like building units and then you cancel them and you got like more money back or something. And there was also like a bug with the market where you could somehow trade with yourself and like create infinite <laughs> infinite gold by just like spamming right click. <laughs> But yeah, they they fix those things. They fix those things. But uh, yeah, that's just how it is. Beginning of the game, you know. It's one po one point oh kind of. It's one point oh. Uh, yo, I was I was reading about that hello that in Diablo 3 like the demon hunter deals infinite damage or something so they the leaderboard they do it in like 1 minute or something right while other other classes they would need I mean I don't know what's normal but it's it's impossible from what I heard what's going on there <laughs> Anyways map number 2 Drogo and Pick are leading 1-0. It's on Pick to close out the match. If he wins, they win the tournament and the 5k. If Pick loses, we will see a final 2v2 to decide the winner of the tournament. Uh, third and fourth place, Trump and I and Jim Rising and um, Neely. And these two guys or teams are in the grand final we have double scout opening for both players in fact uh, we will have multiple scouts by the ruse play I mean both probably go professional uh, scouts but the ruse player is gonna spam uh, between five and seven scouts I think is what you do Pick is getting the deer stack down here, but actually, Red Panda is somewhat close. If he sniffs this out, he can maybe try to challenge. But then again, he has three wolves on him, which is pretty good. Once again, as Rus, you have the bounty for killing animals. Killing an animal gives you gold and ramps up the number here. You unlock different tiers that then unlock better gathering rates. And because the animals give you gold and because of your hunting cabin generating gold as well, you completely skip any gold income, like harvesting. And uh, you can go to tier 2 and even tier 3 without seeing a single gold piece. You completely forget about it. Yeah. This, this one doesn't even exist. Because once they are tier 2, they have the golden gate, which acts as a market. But it's a, it's a very good market because you get a better deal uh, for the resources you buy and sell. We will see that. Uh, we will see that soon. Uh, Pick is doing a decent job, He's killing uh, deer, and he collected a decent amount of sheep, six plus whatever he had at home. This is the cat is in the way. Five sheep plus whatever is at home. A sheep, by the way, counts as five. Yeah. So if he slaughters two more sheep, he's gonna unlock tier two. Can we do it? Okay, we cannot. It's fine. We don't need it right now. Because we are doing good. We are doing good. In fact, maybe... Yeah, he got it now. Because he had, he had other things to do. He's building the Golden Gate with six people. Four on the School of Calvary. If you build it with six, obviously you're getting to tier two quicker, but you are gathering less. I think for Rus, they don't care because the market is so good 
that uh, I think it's fine for them. I think they don't they don't they don't care if it's six. So many wolves here. Ye look at them. Everywhere. Gathering. Gathering the wolves. Bringing them home. We actually supply blocked. Are we? Yeah, we are actually a bit supply blocked. It's not too bad though. Age of Empires is quite forgiving in terms of supply block. So now he is. You see this. So th it is a yellow card, but in Age of Empires, how it works is when you reach the supply cap, the villager will still get produced. And uh, if, if the villager is done, it stays at 99%. And then when the house is done, it instantly comes out, right? So, yes, you're losing time. But it's not not as rough as like if you're supply blocked and you can't do probes in StarCraft, you know, it's a, it's a bigger deal. Like the punishment is bigger because you start, you have to start at zero. And we see scouts, professional scouts as well, pick a pretty clean opening here. And on the other side, we will see professional scouts as well. And actually. It's almost done. 20 more seconds. Uh, that's because the Roost Tier 2 is quicker and they instantly uh, sell or buy whatever they need. I think if they have a good opening, opening, they might not need to do anything. The Wolf. Pick denied the last Wolf here. 390 is a good number though. And he starts to steal the deer. Where are the rest? Where, where are the scouts? Why do we only have three scouts? Wait, we have more. Sorry. Four. Only four. Maybe we didn't build for a bit. Maybe that's just how it is. And I thought they, he should be having more. Pick is getting the rest. Maybe. Oh, pick it up! Yeah, uh, that's a little mini game right now in Age of Empire. Uh, actually, I mean, I'm pretty sure they will make some balance changes to this upgrade to the um, professional scouts. I think. I think when you when you have a deer on your back, there should be a speed penalty, and maybe you deal less. Like if you hit something, you deal less damage or something, or maybe you can't attack even. I'm not sure. But there should be some penalty. Right now, very, very strong. Whoop! My... Mine... I can't really tell... I think the... I mean, the Roost player for sure got a bit more, because he was quicker on the upgrade. Just because his tier 2 was faster as well. Uh, Pick is getting this one again, survival techniques. I don't think you see always see that. So he is gonna gathering the deer even quicker. I don't think the Russian. No, the, you don't skill that as the Russian. Hmm. Ooh, there's another seven to get. Oh, hmm. Köstlich. Bring them home. Bring them home. And we see. Um, so we can we can sell we can sell food here and get a oh no, okay we don't oh wait he just did it no yeah uh, there we go tier three on the way very good timing and now you need wood and you build these things archery range you already have one we build two or three more and then we and then we are like Zerk actually we hold down the R button let me see is it R ah oh, yeah it's lovely you build roaches. You just keep building roaches. Look at this. S S R until you're out of money. Horse archer all the way go to go. Very strong right now. In fact, actually horse archers are bugged as well. That's why they are better than they are supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Pretty good unit. They are slightly bugged, so they are even better. Amazing. Uh, maybe though, maybe against French you build a few spearmen uh, because they obviously they go knights 
Like, I'm not 100% sure. He is building a barracks, so looks like he wants to get a few spears. Oh, but I think maybe you just build horse archers and t get away with it anyway. Castle H. On the other side, Pick has four knights. Uh, why do you why do you try to keep map control? You might ask yourself. Uh, because this thing acts as a monastery, and they're gonna build uh, monks, and then they will start picking up relics. So we come back to the Rus is never gathering any gold, right? That is correct, and it remains correct. Almost all the all the way to late game, because now, given that he has so quick tier three, and his monk is riding a horse, he's gonna be able to pick up the relics. Most likely, we will see because Pick is fighting fighting for it, right? He knows this one is just around the corner, and we will see. Where's the? Wait, this is the wrong. There's the warrior monk. He's trying to sneak around. Where's his army though? That's at home. So yeah, he can't fight the knights right now. You see him actually respecting the knights. Which means, pick... Can I... Do I like... I kinda like it, but the question is, what is he doing behind it? Because I think eventually... He is gonna get challenged off. That's what I think, but maybe not. Maybe the French knights are good enough. Maybe they can hold the line. He's trying to... He's trying to go for the echo here. And every knight he loses is painful though. Oh! 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 It, is this is this good at all? Wait, let me see. 39, 11. 30, ah, he did kill some. Wait, he's still killing villagers. They are not going into the CC. Ah, they, they didn't go. <laughs> I think they didn't go in. Ah, he lost a lot of knights, though. There's no way this was. Was this good enough? Because what I, the thing is, French knights, yeah, they have this upgrade here, which has already been researched. They heal out of combat. So losing them hurts big time. Because if you if you if you keep them alive, they come back with full HP. For free. I mean you spend the upgrade, right? But it's a pretty good deal. Um, he did kill more villagers than I expected though. Because the TC I think wasn't fully uh, occupied. But um, what do we have actually? Five spearmen, seven spearmen. Yeah, that's a good number. He actually double barrack spearmen, so he is fully respecting the knight spam by just building spearmen. And yes, the roost spearmen they work as intended. They can brace, so they win very easily if they have to fight into knights. And I think Red Panda is in a good pos like maybe not good, but in a decent position. Two relics. Upgrades are going. Eight horse archer. He did lose some echo though. 32. Keep in mind though, French is building uh, workers quicker. So Pick is supposed to have more. He has knights all around his base, but... Look, look at the, the spearman, big time. Uh, especially, these are these are still the initial knights, right? They are not upgraded yet because he doesn't have castle. And the third relic, yeah, he's getting the relics. So I think Pick's plan is not working out. He's trying to hunt the boar. Look at him. Where are the villagers? Here they come. Look at them. Bringing a third relic. Fourth relic! Aye! 
And I think that's against someone who tries with all his strength to stop you from getting the relics. But in reality, this is not working at all. 40 to 21. 37 to 32. There's a big run by though. Maybe this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one can be good. Whee! This one is a nasty one. Red Panda not reacting at all. Where? Why is he busy? What is he doing? Not sure. Doing some... Oh, the villagers. Oi, oi, oi. We lost a lot. 25. This was a big attack by Pig. Is it enough? What about the boar? Can we kill the boar? He's gonna see the idle villain. There we go. Oh. And another one. Oh. Oh, you, you. We got it, we got it. Uh, the boar has 2,000 meat. <laughs> it's by far the biggest uh, food source. Uh, uh, like on land maps. Oh man, Red Panda lost so much eco though. To be fair, his army is not bad though. Because I think it hard counters what Pick has. So if they fight, I don't think Pick can do anything. But he can run around, right? He can run, and that's what he's doing. Once again, into the eco. But what is his. What is. Should we build archery ranges? Or maybe this, maybe like this. Spreading them up. His army is not together! The spearman! In the middle of the map! Left alone. They kill one, two, three, four, five knights, maybe? Something like that? And they are still alive, actually, some of them. 31. 80. Okay, the spearman. They just cleaned house. They thought, the knights thought, we, we caught them. <laughs> but the trade was still good enough, I think. Five relics, by the way. Schon Weihnachten here for Red Panda. And now, it's time to kill some villagers of your opponent. We have 21 horse archers. Do we have the blessing? Boyas Fortitude. No, we are not blessed. We are not blessed yet. We do have the money. This is a very, very strong upgrade. Once again, a run by. Eight spearmen, though. Killing, I think, two knights, three villagers. 28. I think Pick is dead by the way because I don't know what his plan B is Knights cannot win these kind of fights and um, like something like this is very cheeky right he gets away with it but wait, can he win the fight let's see maybe he can win the fight the horse archers are kind of stutter stepping into the Knights <laughs> wait, wait hold up no it doesn't it doesn't matter, right? No, no, no. It does not matter at all. Yeah. I think. 30 30. 42. No army supply left. We are not. This is plan B now. Archers to kill the spearman. But I think horse, horse archer. And I mean, he's not, ca he can't even go castle, right? He's so far away from castle still. No gold. In fact, this gold mine is empty. You see the first ram. Kind of out of food, by the way. All the deer that he gathered, but he's building a market now, because this one is running out of tickets to sell some of the gold surplus that he has. I think the game is over, the time is not uh, running anymore. I think Bonchwa is going to be 
or Red Panda is taking this, which would bring it to the 2v2, no? Didn't Drogo win map 1? Yeah, 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 Drogo won map 1 if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, the run bys get cleaned up here. To be fair, it is ca Castle vs. Feudal, right? But, I mean, I think, I think Pick tried with all, all forces to control the map, like the relics. But there was nothing behind it anymore, right? And I'll show this again. The Christmas tree is fully decorated. All five relics that can be found on the map are in possession of Red Panda. So while he stalled it out for a bit, I think it didn't matter. This is the best, I think this is the best Bruce map though. He did adapt a little bit, building Spearman early. Given, and it was the right call, right? Given how triple stable, by the way. This one is, is a stable and these two as well. If you wonder how it works, this one um, increases other stable production by 20%. So building knights, pretty good for French. But building horse archers <laughs> is even better. He's trying to burn the rams. It doesn't matter, he's just dead. Mm. Nice try though. Like he had an idea, but I feel like... I feel like the... So after taking the map control, there has to be some... Right? You either... Okay. What I think... I think, I think you probably lose the matchup anyways, right? But... I think against Roos, you have two options. You either fight for the deer, or you you fight for the relics. And Pick tried both, right? He he challenged the deer, and then he challenged the relics. But the way he challenged the relics actually puts him into a position where I think he can't, he cannot. I think there's no plan B. I don't know what he's supposed to to do after though. Fight, yeah, all all relics into the hand of of a uh, red panda, anyways. And the, the, the night run buys, I feel like Panda reacted a bit late, but I mean, I g there's a lot of things to do, right? You're sending two warrior monks out, uh, your, your, your fucking scouts are picking up deer, well, like you're building, you're micring your, your army and so on, and then if the knights get in, they kill villagers very quick, right? I think he could have reacted quicker, but I mean, that's just a forced mistake, like that's good by pick, being aggressive and forcing mistakes. Let's see, timeline, villager count. Yeah, he actually, he lost a lot of villagers, two times. Um, but, he has all the, all the deer at his town center, right? So he can still eat. And, the golden gate can salvage these scenarios as well. And especially once he gets the relics in, he has, he has a lot of money, even though he has little villagers. And his army is just straight up better, given what uh, Pig was doing. I'm not sure. I think Pick needs to get to castle and then upgrade his knights. I think upgraded knights, they can somewhat fight uh, into... Not into the spearman necessarily, but they can fight into the horse archers. Um, we, get, uh, we get a 2v2 though, the final 2v2 guys of the night. Actually, every match went full distance, right? Ah oh, yeah, wait, the delay is gone. The the command is not, uh, it's misleading at this point. Right, let me turn it off for now. There's no delay right now, guys. Uh, Umbral Phoenix and Blunty, thank you very much for the resubs, guys. Welcome. Was good good adaptation though by Red Panda. Instead of uh, building only horse archers, which is kind of meta right now, he did respect Pig's approach and he did build a double barracks, maybe even triple later on Spearman, uh, and then double archery range uh, horse archer. I think. Like in ranked or like in ladder, a lot of people they go like autopilot for archery range and then they spam a horse archer until the game ends with them either winning or losing and they never stop 
animation, but uh, yeah, Panda doing nice adaptation there. Also getting all relics, it's so strong, like... Um, all, f all five relics, man. And a lot of the deer, these are the two most contested uh, resources on the map, right? But Rus gets like like a head start for both of them. Hmm. What what if what if the French player goes knights archer and then ram all in the Rus in feudal? Maybe maybe you can do that. Not sure. I mean, Rams got nerfed, right? So, not sure. Like, I have no actually. I I have no real no real idea about the matchup. <coughs> Because, like, if you show up with Knights, Archer, right? And th that's basically what you did at the very beginning. Uh, so they would build Spearman for your Knights, but your Archers hard count the Spearman, right? That's, like, the, the what happens. And then they have to build Archers, but it doesn't really... Um, doesn't really work, right? Because there are Knights in the front as well. But maybe the Rus can just buy enough time. And like he's gonna lose a few structures to the rams, but he's not really dying. I think. Maybe that's what's problematic then for the French player. I'm not sure. I don't know. You have to ask someone that's better at the game. Uh, we will get to see the 2v2 though. Final match of the night. Wait, what's going on here? Are they... I think they are not start. They didn't start yet. So we have to wait a moment. Let me see which map they. Um, it looks like it's Altai in the two v two. Wait, how does Altai look in 2v2? I wonder, actually. Let's see how the how the 2v2 Altai looks. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Okay, now we can join. It's gonna be a 5 minute cooldown though, right? Oh, wait! No cooldown? How? What? Sure, I take it, I take it. So it's, it's the same civilizations, uh, Rus plus Daily versus French China. Like the people got stuck with their sips, right? Ah, no, it is a cooldown. Yeah, yeah. I got baited. There is a five minute cooldown, anyways. Do I know the Bonchwa guy? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I don't know Red Panda. Uh, I know Honor, though, from um, StarCraft two times. I also, like, I met Honor several times in real life. I don't think I've ever met Red Panda. Maybe I did. I, I probably, maybe, I probably did. But I'm an old man, so I, sometimes I forget. But, uh, yeah, with Honor. Known for a long time already.
Hmm. Hmm. So earlier, so earlier in the 2v2, the Bonchwa guys, they won big time, like very uh, dominant, but it was a hybrid map. It was Mongolian Heights. So the daily guy, Ona was able to uh, use water, water, right? He was able to build fishing boats. Uh, this time, Alta is a full land map. And uh, it, Alta usually has these three corridors. I don't know how it is in 2v2. I actually have no idea how they spawn in 2v2. Uh, if it's still these three corridors... Um, actually, that would have been a good map. If if that's the case, it would have been a good map for us, by the way. Because then we can actually wall off instead of like being surround, like 360, 360 no scope. Uh, your base is open to every fucking direction. Um, but yeah, basically daily... Uh, if it's not hybrid, I'm not gonna. I'm not sure how well they do in two v two then, because on the on the uh, on the first decider, Ona was stomping. Like he he had full control over the map. He had the biggest army and the biggest economy, I believe. Um, and Panda was, you know, he was just doing his job on the side. But it was like Ona. He had like elephants. He had like twenty men at arms. He was controlling the water. Uh, basically, he was he almost he probably could have won two v one at some point because his army was so big. Mm. This time, though, it will be different. He won't have as much resources on this map because there's no water for free for him. And this is the map he lost in the one v one, right? So he tried to wall off kind of every entrance there was. And maybe they will have a similar approach here. So let's say pick so pick and Drogo, what did they do? They built knights and archer, right, against us. Full feudal aggression, rally every single unit across the map. School of Calvary rally point into your opponent, and then the archery range, they get supervised rally point into your opponent. And then you you build um, a blacksmith and you ram. So if they do Knight Archer again, Daily has the same issue that they cannot brace with their Spearman. In fact, I think Daily is really shit early game, <laughs> by the way. Like, when they have to fight head on. Uh, and Roos... Let's see. Let's see. Wait, so let me see this map real quick, and I will go into Honor's vision. So, Altai. Yeah, so it has three paths again. Ah, and okay, so 2v2, Altai. The middle path is bigger, and just both of them spawn in the middle. So you see, Red Panda is red, Honor yellow, and they are kind of like tucked in in the middle. And then on the other side, Pick and Drogo tucked in on the opposing side in the middle and then we have the north corridor with relics and the holy side and uh, on the south we have another one and there's one cheeky opening here leading into honor's base and is this open is this a cheeky way maybe maybe this is closed but this one is definitely open and then, you know, the the direct path to your opponent in the middle of the map. We should go into Red Panda's vision, actually. That should be more interesting, because as the Roost player, he, he wants to kill animals. By the way, there's more animals in a, on a 2v2 map, so it's easier for him. And actually, we should uh, hear income per minute. There we go. Uh, I think Drogo tried to deny a little bit. He did. He did as well. He got one of the wolves in, but it probably won't matter. I think. I think there's so much animals on the two v two map that uh, he's gonna be just fine. All right. I I ex from Pick and Drogo. I expect full out aggression again. I think they will do the same as they did to us. And like I even called it before the match, right? But uh, my brain didn't come up with a good solution. Like I, I didn't know how you stop it with the sips that we have. 
Because I remember I even said, what if he just, what if he supervises the archery ranges and they just rally like units across the map? Like, how do you stop it? I'm not sure. Uh, they got to see it though. Um, Honor and uh, Honor and uh, Red Panda, they got to see the match. So they're probably aware of the possibility. Honor is harvesting the gold that is very far away, I feel like. This is very exposed. Is this normal? What about this one? Isn't this one yours? Eh? Because this one is your teammates. No? Okay, I guess we... Uh we go into the middle early on. I can tell you that the French guy, he already has his rally point for the knights here. He's like, oh, the gold mine. 10 kilometers ahead of every other structure. Let's go, guys. We send in the knights. Kill some villagers. Kill some villagers. Speed building with five. What is Drogo doing? Wait, what? Ah, he's... He, okay, he's gonna go uh, up very soon. Slightly slower. Three... 335... Yeah, there's a lot of animals on the 2v2 map. Like, he... No issues at all to reach his second bounty. The third one is kinda iffy. Uh, you can maybe do it by killing the boars. Uh, these guys here. Wait, where is it? Ha, ah, here. This thing that gives you uh, 75 bonus for the count. But we probably won't see that. It's too much of an investment early on. And because I expect big aggression by Pig and Drogo, I don't think they will have time for the boars. Uh, Ona needs to build a tower or evacuate the, the gold mine here. Because this night, look at it, two more seconds and then it's gonna... Equites! Hey, he's running somewhere else though. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Where is he running? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Ah, there we go. The rally point. It was wrong. Of course we run towards the fucking gold mine. And Ona is evacuating the gold mine. He knows this one is impossible to hold early on. Uh, no tower either. So I think he just gives it up. Maybe he doesn't need... Okay, double... Uh, okay. So they... Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, Rus can build early knights. I forgot about that. Every everyone only thinks about horse archers, but Rus, they have early knights. The early knights of the Rus, 190 HP. Wait, they are exactly the same, right? Then the Royal Knight? No, 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 they are not, I think, because the Royal Knight, when it charges... I'm not sure, maybe they are exactly the same. I'm not sure. What is uh, Drogo doing? Drogo... Wait, he's going professional scouts! Yo, yo, yo! They're changing up here! He's going professional scouts! No... No early feudal rally across the map kill them. We see Red Panda scouting the French. He actually sees everything. He sees the whole base. He doesn't... He, no one is seeing the Chinese, though. So we build safety archers, six of them. And we are building early now. Obviously, whatever the plan was... This is slowing them down. Second stable, he sees it, though. He knows Pick is gonna build more knights. Obey you. Green has no wood income. Yeah, he only has one guy on wood. 
That is correct. Means he's going fast castle, maybe? No, he's uh, sending more now. So what are we doing with our archers? Six archers. We are running. We are building more even. Are we going aggressive? Can we even? Ah yeah, here's the difference. You see now 32. And this one has 29 after the charge. Now I... Can I... Sh I can't show it anymore. Here, 29. This is after the charge. Because I think the French, they get like an extra bonus after the charge. I don't know exactly how it works. Like after the, the sex, like when they poke in, they get like the damage bonus. And they are going, like the Wonschwaga is going aggressive here. And uh, Drogo has zero army, right? Seven. What is, I uh, know, he has no army because he has seven scouts. Wait, this time he's going for the Song Dynasty? What is this? So greedy, no? Maybe not. Double stable. Double stable, double archery range. Oh, they see the gold mine here. Hui! One, two. Yeah, so the the French knights they have three three attack or more, and I think if you build the blacksmith. I think the French, if they go blacksmith, it's one free attack upgrade as well, if I'm not mistaken. So this thing here. I think they have the first attack upgrade for free. So the French knights do win against these early knights. Especially if they have larger numbers. There is a big run by again though. Killed one villager. It's gonna get a second one. Is the gold exposed? Where? No, they are all. One, one is still left behind. What are we building? Archery ranges. Ah, Zhuganu. Ah, that's why he goes the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can build these guys now, guy. Uh, here, yeah, yeah. Zhuganu. Five second build time. It's because it's supervised, otherwise it would be uh, normal build time. And these are basically, I mean, they are Chinese uh, special unit. Um, yeah. O Omega. <laughs> Omega archers. I don't know how to say it. Cross crossbow archer. So wait, Ona is building a tower now. Getting the deer here. Where's Dro okay, he walks back. Cause I think running into the knights with these guys is not good. But I believe Against other units, they trade very well. Ah, yeah, this is also Chinese, a village. Um, it costs a hundred wood, I think, yeah. And then you get 40 supply, and uh, your villagers can seek uh, sh shelter in, the, in this one. It has 10 spots for them to hide, so if you get raided, they can run in there. Honor took the holy side. He's contesting the other one as well. No, actually he had both, sorry. Um, for a moment. Third one obviously in the middle. We have a lot of French knights. 
Still at his gold. Very exposed position. I still think this is his gold, by the way. I think Honor, <laughs> he's like, okay, this is mine. But I believe that this is his spawn. Uh, like when you look at the town center, this is the range compared to like up here in Africa. Um, and this was his teammate's gold, this one. Uh, we see aggression, let's go into Pix vision. So eight knights. And then we have seven scouts. They're trying to steal the deer, I think. But the deer already been eaten. There's nothing to steal. Maybe one. Can we click on it? Hui! We got it. <laughs> My deer now. Wait, the villagers. Oh! Oh! Why did we walk in the circle? No! Oh my god! Oh, he lost so many villagers. And he saw them ahead of time. He was out, no? Because he pulled them back initially. But then he walked in again. Ah, unlucky man. He does have the money for tier 3 though. There's a small run by. These are very bruised up though. And they don't heal for free. That's a French specialty. These guys do not heal for free. So, can't really w run in anymore. And the knights are about to find... Wait, they're getting, they're getting boxed in though. They're gonna find villagers and kill them, but there is the, uh, the police is coming from behind. I think though that the knights can run out. What about the scouts though? So they're <laughs> <laughs> Open the door! <laughs> Wait, we are running! Are we running or are we fighting? Drogo says I have the deer on my back, I need to run! I Nice micro by Honor gets three of the scouts. Uh, when the scouts die, the deer fall off again. <laughs> Did Pick save any of his knights? No, they all died down here. That was five or four knights. They all went down. New age begins. Tier three for everyone but Pick. Pick is on the way though. Guildhall in production. Let me see. Honor. Did he go House of Learning? On the other side, we have the Abbey, uh, the Abbey of the Trinity, obviously. And then for Drogo, we should have the Clockwork Tower. Um, and he's rallying knights over as well, trying to find some eco damage. How are the workers, by the way? I wish there was a worker tab. How is the observer overlay? Guys, <laughs> how is the observer overlay so bad? So Drogo has 55, his teammate. 46, Honor, 46, Panda, 38. And that makes sense because we saw the villagers getting slaughtered for Panda. First relics have been picked up. Speaking of slaughtering villagers. Oh, two hits. Ah, oh, the French knights. Mm. You love to see it. Where are these guys going? Sure, yeah. We are building Jugenu and Knights. And we are getting our our final queen is in production. We have three right now. Supervising stable. Probably the clockwork tower. No. Not supervising this. Maybe the next one will do it. Look at him. No. Not interested in that yet. Oh no, it's trying to wall. By the way, these are the same scouts with the deer on the back. Oh, Honor is building the wall of China again. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wird alles zugemauert. 35 archers, that's a lot. A few man up arms. What does Red Panda have? 8 knights, 11 knights. Where's Pig's army? Wait, Pig has no army right now. Drogo! Drogo is 1v9. He's gonna win alone. The nest of bees firing. Let's go into Drogo's vision. Look at the Juvenu. Oh, the fireworks. Yeah, he wins alone. He's pushing them back. Pig is sending a few. 
six, seven knights, actually. It's a decent amount. It's okay. Sending them. Uh, little do they know, there's a wall, a massive wall, built by Honor. I like how, how they kite. Trying their best to get out of here. There is... What is going on here? There's a scout. That's a scout from the early game. Pretty good, though. Is there an opening, though? Is the door open? Let's see. <laughs> the door is open because this wall... Not all the way to the uh, end of the, the hill. Kind of only to the town center. So, second TC. What do we have? Uh, honor, single TC. Double TC for... Red Panda, who's building barracks, kind of long distance mining the berries, more or less. Drogo is 1TC. Has a relic, two relics already. He's getting the relics as well. And pick 1TC, right? Yeah. There is one more relic here on their side of the map. I think Panda might have the other relics. Only one! Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. He has the second one. Bringing it home. The wall is open. The scout, it has a D on the back. <laughs> Bring it home, bro. And then you can charge into battle. Veteran royal knights and lancers. Lancers are basically the same as a knight. Um, we do have very little counter units tonight. Actually, 11 crossbowmen, that's a good number. They do counter knights. And they breach the door, but they only find... I mean, they find a mus like an army behind, basically. Keep in mind, Delhi's infantry can wall, right? So these walls have been created by the archers, for example. Uh, maybe this one was built by the, by the by the workers, I'm not sure. Built the door right in front of the other wall. So where are we at? I think that Drogo and Pick are ahead. But... Oh, there's, in, there's two relics, actually! Oi! Both of them in the corner here. Once Drogo has the time, he's gonna bring it home. He built three villages, so he can go to 200 supply. Boom! Who needs houses? You build these things for 100 wood. Instantly, max pop. If you have the money. We have five nest of bees, and they are all clockwork nest of bees. So 50% more HP. If you wonder what is a nest of bees, it's basically the Chinese mangonel. Do we have any anti-siege? No, zero. In fact, we are building ramps. What are we trying to ram here? Ah, the boar! <laughs> the eating. Harvesting the boar here. Uh, yo, we need some sprinkles or something, no? How do we kill the nest of bees? There we go, there's a sprinkle. Number one. Uh, these guys have 50% more HP though. So you better build, you better queue up another five or six Springles. Because this workshop has been building Nest of Bees since the beginning of time. Since we reached Castle Age. 66. Pick has, Pick has no army! Pick has only 12? What? Thousand gold here uh, of the Hohen Kante. Drogo, 60 and 90 villagers. Drogo is very healthy. Honor, 50 and 70 army. Honor's army is big. And in fact, 17 crossbow men. So the knights, I mean the nest of bees have to work overtime. I think Red Panda also somewhat healthy economy, 70. He's killing the boar. Let's zoom in. Oh, he got it. Amazing. And uh, 40 army supply. So Pick is... Pick is very crippled right now. He needs to...
Because, yeah. Five stables, two archery range. What is he lacking? Fu ah, he has a second TC. Okay. So give him a bit of time, he will recover. We see another wall attack. Oh, no, no, no. This one can't be built because it's walled off. We have a massive stone wall here. Who are Who's controlling the sacred sites? Honor? Wait, hold up. He's still controlling this one? Ah, oh, the scout! He's not walking onto it. He's not walking onto it. This one is walled off, so Anna has this one for free. The middle one, obviously, there's five army, four armies. Ah. And Drogo. He is aware. He's still not supervising this. This has to be an oversight. Like, supervising this one, which is empty. But this has to be an oversight. But basically, his Springles, 300 HP. This Springle, 200 HP. Huh? Yeah, that's how it is if you're China. Yeah, lovely, right? Hmm. Ugh. We have this one, though. Cat elephant. And something is... Uh, Pick is getting very angry here. He wants the wall. Der Schlagbaum muss oben sein. Through the wall here. Onto the sacred side. But all... I think that's all his knights. Is Bonschwa gonna push? They see all the knights on the... Wait, he's walking through! <laughs> wait, wait, it was open! Ah! Wait, hold up. He's walling here, though. One elephant, keep in the middle. Keep for both teams, actually. It's gonna be... Oh, he got the wall. And this one, he's building it. Honor! Look at him! Oh, this a man! Look how quick he's building the walls! Yeah, uh, we good, we good, we good. All, all of that, and he didn't even leave one here. Drogo, not only uh, neutralizing the side, but reclaiming it. These knights, though, they stomped through the wall before. Drogo capturing this. It's actually Drogo's wall, I just realized. So what's happening in the middle? Keep on both sides. Still supervising the mining camp. Ah, I think he's supervising it. Yeah! I think this guy, the queen, the chrono boost, it's finally there. Very important. Very strong. Did the knights get in? The knights got in. Do we have something at home? We have a lot of crossbowmen. Honor has 42 crossbowmen. Some of them are at home. And the more mobile army is coming. Red Panda helping him out. On the left side, the boar. Everyone is trying to eat the boar. Cannot fit around. Getting gold. There's a run by. Lancers. 20 of them. 28 Lancers. Does he have 200 supply? Yeah, 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 Drogo, 200 supply. Nest of Beasts into the workers! Oi, oi, oi! Wait, actually, they're not dead yet. The next volley. Oh, they're hitting the keep. Yo! Kill them. All the workers. And the 30 Lancers right hitting the keep. And actually, there's this upgrade. Burning oil. Boiling oil. Burning. Burning something. Boiling something. Uh, the thing is... <laughs> If you're daily, and let me double check, this is a, this is a daily uh, daily keep. <laughs> so you click the button, and then you have to wait five minutes. Uh, we have a fat fight here, though. The nest of bees need to shoot into the archers, but they're getting ah, you, yo, your knights. No, the nest of bees are turning. The knights are running away. Something is completely wrong with the hotkeys here. Pink is coming from the side, but these are all crossbowmen, so the knights will die. Oh, uh, we lost all nests of bees besides two. I think it's maybe still good enough. Ah, oh, this could have been so... I think it's still good enough, but this could have been so much better. I feel like Drogo... ...is clutching this game. He lost a lot of his supply, though. Pink is 120. 
Peek is raiding, by the way. That's why his army is so small at the front. Everything is in the back. Raiding. Actually, we're just fighting knights. But here, look at this. This is the big raid. Honor not paying attention, losing his workers. Fo He's down to 40. Ah, yo, yo. He only has an army left. So he has one standing army. Almost no economy behind it. This keep is standing, though. Nest of Beasts, by the way, tickle it only. Uh, they will eventually tickle it to death. It's more the knights that are doing the job. And I wanted to show you real quick. So if you are China or any other civilization, the, the boiling oil takes one minute. You have to pay money for it, but it takes one minute. Um, while Honor has to wait till New Year, actually. He can click the button and then when he hears the fireworks of the nest of bees around New Year, that's when his boiling oil is ready. And it is actually pretty useful into uh, melee units. They finally clean up... No, they did not clean up the raid yet. There's one trader. Look at him. Where is he going? Here. Sacred site. I think Pick has finally completely stabilized. Yeah, a hundred villagers. And what used to be only a couple of knights is now 32 French knights. <laughs> not bad, not bad. And Drogo says, this is my keep now. Exact same position as Honor before. And I think they are doing it. I think Pick and Drogo... And I can tell you why. Honor is completely broke. 30 villagers, that's nothing. It's nothing. Red Panda has a very good villager count, 90. But his army is out of position right now. And Honor gets... Uh, is this good though? Maybe this is good for Honor. His knights, look at the, uh, his crossbow man, all in one line. Getting some good shots. Nest of Bees coming in. These are the guys that are supposed to kill the crossbow man. Oh, the shots are coming in! Ay, ay, ay. And I told you, Honor has only one army left and the army is gone. Down to 30 supply. No money. I mean, he has money, but no food. He can sell his gold and his wood. But no one is working on the fields. Everything is empty. The nest of bees. They're just standing here. Getting su getting supported by the knights. And I think... 130 villagers, by the way. For... Is this 1TC? No, yes, 2TCs, yeah. For Drogo. Uh, Dro Drogo, fantastic showing on this map, I have to say. Greedy early game, but... Maybe also mind gaming the Bonchwaba guys a bit, given how aggressive they played against us. But you have to keep in mind, the map against us was very open. Basically 360 degrees around your base, they can come from every side, walling off near impossible. This map is a lot more streamlined. Like you have one line in the middle, and then the north and the south. And we see massive walls, north and south, by both teams actually. Which means everything can only really come from the middle. And um, the professional scout play by Drogo early game, very good. Very good. They didn't take too much damage from the initial aggression. Pick was kind of handicapped mid game, but he did stabilize, you know. Now he's at 120 villagers, so he has the money. Actually, he has 3000 stone. It's time to proxy keeps everywhere. <laughs> That's one way of telling your opponents to leave the game. If, if you're thinking, warum lief der Azi nicht? Then you just start building keeps right in front of him. Pick could afford quite a lot of those. Drogo spent all his stone in the nest of bees. Completely uncontested. Because the little siege that we had, and actually only from Red Panda, was not enough. Was not enough. Actually, the 2v2 one is quite fun, no? This one. Yeah, I like it. Oh, we have uh, here yeah, French crossbow man. Arba Arbaletier. These are unique for the Frenchies. 
basically a crossbow man, but they have uh, here a special button. I think besides that they are maybe exactly the same. I think so. By the way, everyone is Castle Age. No one went Imperial. I think maybe the closest... No, Drogo has no money on the bank either. None of the players has any bank. Pick, pick, has, a <laughs> pick has a stone bank of 4,000. But that's about it. On a 30... He has, like... It's like me, right? Like in my 2v2, like in my 2v2, I was also Omega crippled. Like after after the initial go, and there was just nothing left in the tank, and that's kind of where Ona is as well. Obviously, it's later in the game, but same scenario. His teammate actually lost all villagers as well. Sorry, there's too much happening on the map, but he's down to 30 villagers. He lost everything. This trader, we have a look. It's gonna bring home. Oh, he gets eliminated before. <laughs> I mean, they left. But yeah, congrats, actually. Drogo and Pick. Strong showing overall. Strong showing overall. Um, yeah. And every match, full distance. Let's see. Village account. Drogo. As I said, in my opinion, he smurfed this map. He looked very strong. From start to finish. Earliest. In fact. He had the earliest castle timing as well. Yeah. I don't know why we. Why don't we. What is this with peaks? Why do we not see it? What is happening here? Why do we only see three players? <laughs> Anyways. So pick was down to. Like negative military, he had nothing in the mid game. It was all Drogo keeping them on the map. And Pick also, I guess his work account was like somewhat in the middle, but he was like, he was really struggling mid game. He did come back big time late game. And actually, they had some very, very good raids later on. And there was Pick opening up the flank on the south side. He killed uh, two walls, opened the floodgates for, I don't know, like 20 knights. And they got a lot of damage in. Like, we see the villager drop here. Late game. In fact, Honor... Honor kept uh, losing workers. He was bleeding workers earlier on already. Uh, we can... Let's see gold real quick. Mm, wait, where is your economy? So Pig actually had most food. We know that he had the most stone. <laughs> uh, what about relics real quick? Where is that again? Relics capture. Yeah, Drogo got four relics. That's a very good deal for a China player. Uh, I think I think on the south side, there were like two very good spawns for him. But he also, s he must have snuck some relics uh, that were more open, I think. At least one of them. Uh, Honor got one, Red Panda two, Villager high. Yeah, we see this. Yeah, Honor was... Uh, it was it was a rough game for him. He had a very big army, a very big standing army. But it was also an army that is... Not glass cannon, but the, the siege units. If they ever get the shot into the crossbow man, they just disappear. So time to H3. So the quick... Yeah, Drogo was... A minute qu quicker. No. Wait, pick 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13, 14. Okay. I don't know why it didn't show it in the timeline for pick. I guess... Uh, <laughs> I guess they can also improve the statistics a bit. Show the stone count. Wait, uh, yeah. <laughs> Saving it for next game. Five five thousand stone. Saving it for next game. To be fair, uh, Drogo had two keeps in the middle, so he kind of secured the resources in the middle, and then I guess Pick could have built one keep on the south side where the knights opened the sacred side. I think that's where you build one keep, by the way, if you're him. And then I mean, I guess the surplus of stone. Yeah, you start building keeps in your opponent's base at that point. Honestly. 
right? I think that's what you do. Or you sell the stone because you get a good deal in terms of gold. Um, but yeah, congrats, these guys. They did it. And look at look at Honor's army supply. It was massive. He had a massive army, but it, it's a rather immobile army, right? So because it was mostly cr it was like man at arms, crossbow man. So it's like p like they can't walk. They're very bad at walking. And uh, if the siege units ever get a shot into the back line, like the crossbow man, they just disappear like <laughs> very quickly. Uh, the only way to stop that is uh, with springles or like Quilverine or Bombards, like any other kind of good siege units. Um, but they didn't really get the, the count for that. And you need a very high count against China because China's siege units have more HP than anyone else. So once he gets ahead in siege units, it's, it's hard to reclaim it. And he had so much army though, Honor. He's building crossbow man. <laughs> he was like, I need the... He's like, guys, they're building French knights and lancers. We have to... <laughs> we need to build more crossbow man. Was good though. Was good. Was, was, a, good, was a good attempt. Uh, they also had a lot of army early on, right? Like Honor built like 30 archers or something. But they got very little done. Because the defense was pretty pretty solid by um by drogo and pick uh they didn't really get much damage done early on i wish i could like zoom in here to see any um blobs in terms of village account but uh, you can't do that so yeah congrats congrats to the boys military Killed, lost, raised, yeah, not too, not too, uh, largest army. Drogo with the largest D. Well, that sums it up for tonight, guys. Was quite fun. Actually, the 2v2 was quite fun, in my opinion. Uh, it didn't end too quickly. The map was, uh, like everyone was expanding everywhere. There's a lot of stuff happening late game. It was actually really fun, the 2v2. It was actually really, really fun. Um, let me think. So... Daily... Daily and Rus. I mean, the Rus couldn't really play his strength either, right? He went like early nights. And he only got two relics. Yeah. Hmm. I guess they need a hybrid map so Daily can start uh, smurfing. I think. I think that would be much better if Bonjour. But there's o in the in the two v two pool there was only one map with the with water, right? Which is Mongolian Heights, and they got that one earlier on already. Uh, I think I think that's it's really good for Daily if they get it. Otherwise, they're probably struggling a bit. And, um, yeah, that's it for tonight. So tomorrow, Saturday, uh, I will cast the CCL. I will cast the CCL games together with Mene. 90%. 10% maybe something is uh, happening and we can't cast together. But I think Mene is going to be here. And then on Sunday... Uh, I actually play against Main and DCCL. We play against Simplicity. The final match of the regular season. Um, and then the playoffs are coming up in January. Uh, and Christmas is coming up. And New Year is coming up, guys. There's a lot of stuff happening, right? All right. Is the interview? <coughs> I think my I think I have to close the game though, otherwise my browser is lagging. No, I'm not a pro, I or maybe not. Mean. 
I feel like I should have played this game much better, but then we played a better game against uh, against Honor, so wait, it's all it's all good in the end. Does this work? Yeah, this this two on two game, just to bring it back to the final game, was so much fun to watch. And you know, Pig, Amazing. it seems like you've been having the short end of the stick when it came to getting to Castle Age. You never managed to progress towards it. It was clear what what idea we had in you had in your one on one. We'll talk about that later. But you were feudal here too, latest to Castle. But I feel like you played a very pivotal role in the distraction. Talk to us. Yeah, man, I got to be the punching bag, and then I got to be the, the guy who runs in in the back and kills all the villagers, um, which Drogo was the one who called that out, because he kept going, okay, they're pushing, you know, we're ready to fight, dude, I'm, I'm pretty ready to fight, I think we should go, and I'm like, yeah, I got uh, four knights, he's like, what, <laughs> you don't have an army to help, and I'm like, sorry, bro, and I'm like, I think we need to turtle for a bit longer, and like, every time he wanted to counter yeah, push, I'm like, legit um, no sorry, army dude, in the I have not even reinforcing mid -game. Like, he had recovering nothing. my economy and trying to catch up in the, the tech and the upgrades. But it's, in Age of Empires, like, you know like running into the opponent's economy is good, with, like, with, with mobile the units, and he was like, like knights. Just go attack that wall on the right, he pinged it, and I just took every single knight, ran over there, and Cause there's, I think uh, they the were arrows don't kill them, and they kill villagers very quickly. Up. If they got that wall off, ah. uh, they could have bought themselves a lot more time. And when but I say the arrows don't kill them, it, really it takes them very long, so they can stay under the same thing on the left side of the map for a long well. time. So the there was Drogo, the, uh, the shot no caller, who saved our bacon there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, also, yeah, I, I, could, I took a couple of one v two fights in that game that I'm not sure I had to take, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I believe in my units. <laughs> Uh, what, what about your one-on-one, -on -one, Petit? Uh, sorry, one-on-one, -on -one Pig. Uh, you had a strat of mass knight all-in. Yeah, I even stopped building villages at some point there. Um, Drogo <laughs> suggested this as if someone's just... Let's be real, Rus aren't the biggest brain players. Like, if you look at all the races, the Rus players are the ones who are like, oh, I'm going to make a really fast castle and build horse archers. Then I'm going to pick up the relics. Like, they always do the same thing, yeah, right? it's so true, though. I was like, let's hope he doesn't scout. And I'm going to do, you look, it's pro scouts. I'm doing fast castle as well. It's totally normal. Probably should have hidden me stables in a forest or something like that. So at least it was a bit of a surprise or I should have gone in earlier because he just smooth build order. Um, I didn't take a single wolf. I forgot to kill those. So he was rich in gold. And yeah, uh, yeah it felt like I was like, I, I think there was still a chance to transition, but because it was my first time playing the build, I liked yeah. the idea. I didn't really have the follow-up mapped out. I think after killing a lot of villages, I could have basically just kept him occupied by threatening backstabs for several minutes, even though he has the superior army. He can't really pin the knights down because they're running around in different squads. And I could have made an mm. archer transition since I did have maybe a 10 villager lead. It just meant I needed to pull off food onto the wood, which actually would have been conveniently timed rather than running villages off to get boars and in the corners of the map, like there were these huge gaps in my income as all my food kept running out because he got a lot more mm. of my hunts um i maybe took one of his hunts he took like six of my deers or something like that so there was like all these hiccups where i was like just a few more nights and there'd be a pause in night production while my villagers had to migrate so it didn't quite work out but maybe if i had it mapped out a little better it could have happened yeah on uh, also as the one that suggested the build because i lost it twice on leather uh, the <laughs> main idea here too is all you, you have knights right but at the same time you do this you come in with like all of your scouts plus one or two, and you grab all of the carcasses while ah. all of this is happening. So you really but like Pink didn't do that. Punch the Russian player like this really hard, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure as the Russian, if you don't have pikemen, you actually just lose. You lose straight up. And this game, I was like, if Pig goes a little bit earlier, I actually think he can do a ton of damage. But, but wait, wait, you respected Pink, the Russian too much. Like Pink I'm telling you, in Russians, the like right? I don't. I do can't make to make all archer. It's gonna be so great. <laughs> It's literally every all archer, every single game. Me too, myself included. I don't think he tried to steal yeah, the deer the in this base, though, but it's true. And then he went for double barracks. It was, yeah. uh, it was really good play by yeah, him. Yeah, the yeah, the good reaction. That's yeah, what you have to do, I think. Yeah, the Spearman adaptation was very good by Red. How did that, uh, what's that? No, you go ahead. That's true. How did that final game feel, I'm curious, because it was difficult to keep track of what was going on. Having a caster eye view of the entire map, and you guys didn't have that, there was stuff going on in every part of the map at once, and you guys were attacking and retreating, and uh, what was that like? Was it hectic? How did you keep track of things amidst all of the chaos? Um... It, was, it was kind of chaotic uh, at a few points. I know that I 
was always being very conservative with my army because at the front, because it was basically just a rally point that was always about a screen behind Drogo's army. And I was going to kind of rely on him saying, hey, stuff's going down because all of my actions were on my economy mm. and kind of just trying to backstab. So Drogo was kind of the one who I think had to keep track of their army a little bit better because, I mean, he could have got jumped on at any point, 1v2. And he did. Yeah, I mean, we didn't, we didn't have a fast army, like not at all. So I feel like it was pretty hard to get caught. From uh, I was a little bit scared at the beginning. Where I was like, yeah, they're going knights on archers. I'm like, oh shit, they're going to kill us doing all strategy. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm not sure if my response was good, but the first thing that popped into my mind is like, I can't make regular archers. I need, like, what's the name of the special archer from Chinese? Zungano? Zugunu. Zugunu, yeah. I need Zugunu, which when I think back on it was probably very greedy, but because I got it so early, I had like the faster villager production really early on. And you can see in the graph at the end, I'm like super high up in the yeah, villager production. Yeah, he had so many villagers. Which uh, I wanted to do a play to defend myself. It was actually a greedy play. Says how much I understand about the game currently, but hey, it I worked. I think it was correct. It was correct. Oh, I'm I'm happy. I, I think. Approve. Approve. I mean, your rank is very similar to mine, so like we're both swimming in the water here, uh, looking for places to hold on to. But I think Sugunu were correct because with archers, you may just not be able to outmass uh, the archer ball of honor. Yeah, I mean, yeah. to be honest, my rank with Chinese is like 300. I, I can't rank up with Chinese. It's impossible. <laughs> oh wait, like, I saw your rank climbed. You didn't do that with Chinese. No, I tore rushed with Mongol like six times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dirty. What the like fuck? The man. equivalent of a model putting on their makeup what? before the big show on the runway. The fuck, you decided man. to play some Mongol games to bring up your yeah. rank because you knew oh, people are going to request man. your rank here. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, Drogo got to this rank with Chinese. He must really have improved. I knew you were going to say that. So they oh, <laughs> so yeah. I went in with my goal. Tower rushing view. I said That's that. Amazing. I was like, well, Petit Drogo did drop hundreds of ranks from 62 to 450, but he got back to 112. He carried him up by his bootstraps. Nope. He's a Mongol dirty abuser. <laughs> Just for appearances. <laughs> you guys are rank 300 plus and 400 plus on the ELO, and you've beaten rank 100 plus and 100 minus that's insane yeah i think I mean, you know we've that... got that i think there's the baboon energy that we bring you know like we don't overthink it <laughs> we're like all right the first one you know like you guys i i i, I love listening to the the um first cast of drogo's map and and you guys you, you had all this five head you know 300 iq map video <laughs> stuff and we're like china defensive like, nope. Civ defensive map we put china and i'm like oh the mind game grubby's describing actually makes a lot more sense but like we didn't think that <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. now we actually uh, did note that um you know we were talking about how china is this defensive sieve that loves to turtle and go for mass econ but t drogo we didn't really see the typical meta china build from you in any of the games was that nobody a told them decision? that or was that, or was that a response to what you saw from your opponents, or did you just not play enough China to know how to do the, the boom? If you were playing Mongol rushes instead, or what, what was the? I'm sorry, I got distracted. Are you asking me about my like, my strategy in the second game? I'm asking in general. You didn't play uh, meta Chinese, and what was the decision? Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, listen. In StarCraft 2, I'm known as the guy that just goes and kills the dude. That's literally that I, my entire career has been me just going and killing the guy, <laughs> even if it's not the best strategy. So when I picked Chinese, I was like, I'm not playing like big macro game. It's not happening. I just want to kill the guy. Mm. So I went to, like, you know, you know, on my lot there's a lot of great tutorial in French though. So yeah, you guys can't really use that, can you? But I can. So he was like, hey, pro scout into knights. So he played the build a bunch against top Civ, It sucks ass. It's not good. But against daily, hey, now we're talking. <laughs> we're going to make some lancers and we're going to go into some <laughs> mineral lines. I mean, wood lines. <laughs> I'm gonna kill stuff. <laughs> I mean, the daily spearman can't brace, right? So that's that's good. incredible. Well, congratulations on there. your Age of Empires 4 competitive debut. Uh, is it enough to yoink you back into competition, uh, Pig? Or are you gonna keep doing awesome things like sleeping on stream and doing like 150 hour streams? <laughs> uh, I think I got to like over 300 hours actually, but um, was it 300? What? Yeah, it was. It was... <laughs> It was over a month, so yeah. Um, no, I am. I am basically an internet jester at this point, rather than a competitive pro gamer. But I, I'm, I'm really enjoying Age of Empires. I didn't expect it to hook me so much. Um, so I'm going to be playing a lot more of it. Uh, 
I wouldn't I consider didn't. myself super, super duper competitive. But I think it would just be. It's funny. You know, I think I'll we all have this. What pictures fun. describe? It the, we all have the that feeling. Juices flowing, right? Like we you didn't know, expect something about to get hooked up that much. On the line. Even if it's just a small weekly tournament for 50 bucks, uh, you're going to learn a little bit more. Your but opponents are going to cheese you and pull out their special builds a little bit more. So. I'm going to be streaming uh, a bit of Age of Empires over the coming weeks for sure. Very addictive. I ha I ha exactly That's the awesome. same happened to me actually. Right. How about, Any final how about thoughts? You, sorry, I wanted to ask yeah. Petit Drogo's uh, future and then we'll get to it. Uh, Drogo, StarCraft, Age of Empires 4, what's your schedule looking like and your plans? Uh, well, um, I have um, a French time at StarCraft that I actually want to compete in pretty much, uh, pretty well. So I'm going to do a bit of that. In my head, I'm still playing both, obviously. Like when Dreamax season is here, I wanna I wanna perform. I did that year; it was okay this year. I was still like you know a top 16 European player, so you know. Even if when we don't go to tournaments because of the coronavirus situation, it's kind of killed my motivation a little bit because only playing on a tournament mm. is rough. As far as I'm concerned, right now, uh, Age of Empire is really fun and it's not too intense. I can these days I can play three hours of Starcraft 2 and then I'm done. I am done, especially if I'm streaming. But with Age of Empire, I can play all day. And also, I'm not super good at Age of Empire. Some StarCraft 2 players are like super high in the ranking. I'm not, I'm really struggling. I feel like when you play Protoss, a lot of automatism that you you get are not really useful. Like I, I try to warp in my units a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. <it's quite> <laughs> I, I know that feeling. I could, I, could, I, could, I could warp in Springle with Mongols and I really like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the same for me. But that's not that I can't, but I'm having a lot of fun playing like Mongol. Empire, so I'm gonna keep playing for a bunch because you know there's no big tournament right now in Starcraft. It's exactly the same and for me. And if I get pro gamer level, that's great. If I don't, well, I would have had fun along the way. So that's pretty much ah, my thing. So and funny, I also actually. stream on my channel, but I stream in French because and there's a pretty big community, but maybe sometimes I stream in English. I don't know, you know. I'm, I'm and he also stuck said he's just killing his opponents, which is also like, like a, a very pro I hope like I get good enough to you know? What I did against him, actually. Very you just go for, you just kill him. I got a new YouTube video. I remember, Gary. The China Thank late game is scam, that. right? Even though you won, it's like Zerk late still great. game. <laughs> you don't want to play into that. <laughs> so you have to kill that before. I know before. you only let me win to, or, in order to get on the channel. Though I do burst <laughs> losses as well, but you got to make it look close. Uh, that is true. I love it. I, I'll do, I'll, I'll try better next time. I love it. <laughs> And for anyone that's uh, watching at home right now that is taking any interest in any of our players, our champions here, or anyone else, all of them are content creators that have Twitch channels and what have you and YouTube channels, so you can find them all. Uh, we've got Twitter names here next to everyone right now, and you can look everyone else on the Castle Cup website on the uh, um, wisdom announcement and all that kind of stuff if you want to know more. There's plenty, plenty more. Age of Empires and StarCraft, and Age of Empires 2, and all kinds of other content being created by these guys in many different languages. Yo, guys, final thoughts. Can we, can we turn it around and ask you guys, when are we going to see you guys playing tournaments? Next tournament, is it going to be a Moltrap Grubby Grubby was signed up, by the way, for the winter. Did you hear about the two-on-two -two plan between the winners and the two of us next weekend? Oh. I didn't tell you. Oh, heck yeah. No. I remember there was a 2v2 plan. I didn't, oh, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Another, another maybe $10,000 again or no. <laughs> no, no. Another You're wasting a We cool? We cool? I grab no, was signed no, up for the Actually, you guys series. really have whetted my appetite for 2v2. That looked a lot of but fun if games are like that. Play, uh, like you said, it takes a bit to climb on the ELO ladder, but maybe we can do some show matches sometime. Uh, me and someone. I'm not 100%. Maybe Moltrap can cast it. Not 100 how the level is yet but me someone against the two of you i think that would be awesome nothing promised but it would be fun so thanks for that turnaround and putting me on the spot pig <laughs> no worries man that's what we're here for you know everyone's we're, we're, we're very happy by the way you were asking for last thoughts i just want to say a big thanks to you guys for inviting us on um it's a real pleasure and it's kind of cool because i think we were both having fun playing age of empires and then we just got a, a kick in the butt to actually try and grind a whole bunch the last week or so and All really right. try and Let figure out the, the game final shot out. it's I getting late like, by the um, way so i think uh... ah, i think we're done for tonight guys that was was fun though i mean i wish we would have made it to the grand final you know i i don't know and I, I guess i only got to play two maps uh, one one v one i won against drogo and then the 2v2 we got stomped by them um but that's how it is right that's how the format was like best of ones your civilization was like set in stone 
Uh, we had the draft preemptively, so everyone knew, everyone was aware of the rules. That's just how it is. And um, yeah, I'm not. I'm honestly, I'm not even too upset. I had to play Holy Roman Empire because that was the civilization I started to play the most at the beginning. I think right now I would say my Mongol is probably much better. And it's also because Mongol is so OP, right? <laughs> like, not gonna lie, it's a lot easier. <laughs> it's a lot more oppressive. Um, but yeah, that's the, the first two picks, right? The, it went to Mongol and Rus, so they were out of the pool. And then French got third picked. Um, and then we got a double pick. We picked English and Holy Roman Empire. In hindsight, maybe English plus China was a bit better, but I don't know. Uh, I can't. I can't really complain too much about it. And then the last two picks, uh, Delhi, um, Delhi got picked by Honor or, and Red Panda, and then the very last pick was Abbasid um, by Jim Rising and Neely because they first picked Mongols, right? So they got the first pick and then the very last one. Oh yeah, that's that's how the tournament was set up. All right, guys. All right, guys. We are done for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, CCL. Don't miss that. And um, yeah, I wish you all a good night. Happy holidays, I guess, in case we don't see each other anymore. Um, I guess before New Year, we probably see each other again. Uh, but it is actually, things, yo, 2021 is almost done. That's crazy. We're at the end of the year. Gravy was flaming his co-caster. <laughs> I don't know how much Mole Trap played. Um, Gravy, I mean, Gravy is playing a lot of Age of Empires, right? So, like, if he if he wants to play some two v two, he probably looks like for people that are more like his Edo. Grubby is like top hundred, I think. I think Grubby actually would have, like, the that's what I meant, right? At the very beginning, I said the players in this tournament are not like. Not the highest level, right? There's people that are so much better than the ones you've, you've seen today. Uh, like the top 30, the top 40, the top 50. Uh, I think Grubby was very close to this tournament, like, skill level. Because Grubby is, like, a rank 100, maybe 150, sometimes a bit better, like, top 80, maybe. Uh, and I think that's very close to what most of us, like Drogo, me, uh, that's what we have as well. I don't know how much Pick actually played, but yeah, um, he, he looked he looked solid as well. Not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, guys. No, no, no. I will stream CCL tomorrow and Sunday. No worries. I'll be there for the CCL. 